Welcome back. Rubik has been getting a uh, lot of hate from my fellow analysts in the anime major, but uh, in this game, it's really a perfect Ruby game. We are seeing a smoke coming out from Dragon. They are uh, going for Jonuel, but I'm not sure that they'll be able to close this gap. He actually already used the stun. Natsumi and Yopaj are there, but they won't be able to stop this because the spear is there and Jonuel will be going down with Dragon, starting off the grand finals with a kill of their own. Well, uh, I did tell uh, Obinion's manager, like, um, like, review on how they lost to Dragon and correct the mistakes. I hope they... They will win this time. Oh, you're cheering for Neon? <laughs> That's the second one. We're seeing I a fight. Mean, go ahead, go always ahead. opposite with you. So if ah. you if you think Dragon will win, I I think Neon will win. Yeah, but looking what's happening in the mid lane, the uh, blocks from Yopaj are insane, and they're gonna put Lina in place with yes. Natsumi jumping in, and he gets the kill. This was actually amazing from Yopaj. He even died, and their post mortem actually making so much happen for his team. The PA usually needs a lot of time to get online, but just with the Deso here, they'll be in in a lot of trouble on the side of uh, Dragon and Gyro already caught and will oh, just die. Nice! <laughs> and the Natsumi getting a very early Deso going into the BKB. He will be battle ready earlier than I expected. Oh, the arrow on the Spectre, and that's what oh. we were talking about, the Spectre, but he's gonna get destroyed right now with the finger. The stolen RP, it really won't save anyone. He will turn it around. They do kill Jeonuel, trying to get rid of Andrew as well. He's inside of the arena, surrounded, surrounded by a few heroes, but Natsumi kill jumps into back lines, and he wants to kill the Rubik. Andrew will fall, but now Natsumi in a really bad spot. Another arrow from Scam. He will turn around on the Mars, but Ghost and the Natsumi, they're gonna separate at this point, and CTM has a few leaps ready to get himself away from Dragon. With yeah. that, they just get into the Roche pit. They have the Vladimir's offering as well, putting everything into Natsumi. Oh, the stun, the arrow, Mercator just comes in and will just get destroyed. He gets the Very leap nice charges. Connection. Pretty much nothing they could do. This is the problem now. They have a Mars who doesn't have a blink. Yo, Lina, could be in some trouble oh. in the arena, gets out, and now the ulti from the Spectre. They're trying to go for the Rubik. And Natsumi actually doesn't get the... Uh, the Roche, he just gets the Aegis and now stun onto the Sand King. They will kill Yopaj. Maybe Dragon can fight this one. But Natsumi coming in. The Crimson Guard now coming into play a little bit. Will he use the RP? And you thinks about it, but doesn't want to give it to the Rubik. Now here comes the cooldown. The RP will come out, but the immediate steal. They can't come in. The arrow does connect again. RP oh. onto two. Returned one. But still, Natsumi has a BKB. He hasn't been caught up in that one. And he destroys the Lina, but still surrounded by a lot of heroes. He might have the Aegis, but he could get his teeth kicked in right now. Here comes the homing missile. And Juno is there to protect him somewhat. But can he do that? It seems like they're still chasing Ghost. Coming close. He does have the spear. It will connect onto Natsumi. He still has the Aegis. I think they're always staying a little bit if Yopash comes back to life they can definitely turn this one around but Dragon they win a fight and they win it convincingly in the end spells to get this game but the uh, leap is definitely the worst one out of all from the Marana Stano Natsumi still has the oh. Aegis not a target to go for the ulti from the Spectre they will get rid of one illusion but SS still comes in the stun from the line will only connect on one but now they go RP on the two and the Rubik doesn't have a spell still he cannot get it away Lina is already dead SSS even with a blade mail Natsumi doesn't care he wants to fight okay moving a little bit back he still has the Aegis for another minute and 15 seconds he doesn't have to be afraid the homing missile will connect on him and Ghost doesn't kill anyone inside of the arena Yopash is coming back thinking about going in but it seems like they'll be fine with just getting one kill Okay, smoke. they have a smoke. And smoke into yes. smoke action. It's gonna be a big one. <laughs> Roche in two minutes. Both smoking. Rana. Their smoke will break. Yopaj. Think about it. He actually jumps on Mercator who doesn't have a buyback. The arrow will connect, but he's still alive. Now they turn around on Junal. He will be the first casualty in my Magnus. Trying to survive in this one. Does have the blink dagger. Will get the RP onto two. But they kill Mercator in the back lines. Now buyback from the line. They get the Yules on the PA. He didn't have the BKB with a follow-up stun. Natsumi might be in some trouble. The Magnus trying to get him away. And Natsumi jumps to the side, but they have the spear. Going on Natsumi. They're not committing on him though. The Glimmer Cape will keep him safe. Marana with that item. She's really doing a good job by the epicenter. Still the air this is there on the lead, and Natsumi will finally fall. Now they want to go for CTM, and they won't be able to do so. But Rubik still has something to say about that. Will get turned into a little fishy. Ghost is still going forward. Juno gets the blink out. That would have been a dieback on him. And they fight tense two for one in favor of Dragon. In on enemy vision, they see him perfectly, but he's not a good target with a Crimson Guard in the bulwark. He's gonna be able to survive, Natsumi. 
Gonna get hit by the dagger and they finally get the ward down. So having a guy there. Natsumi jumps in, gonna get lifted. They do have the Laguna, but where's the dust? There it is. Natsumi now uses the BKB. They want to go for the Lina and this, keeping him safe. The Magnus not using the RP. He might die before using his right time. Andrew is dead. The Opar goes into the back line, so the Lina is ripped apart. Buyback from Andrew. Lina has that one as well. General turns around with a stun there, keeping him safe with the Glimmer Pick game, but another dust will keep him safe, but the RP. One comes back and now they turn around, they three heroes, another three man stun. This RP will set up perfectly, the Mars is still alive and the Lina buying back will turn it around. They went for the Spectre and the Dispersion just annihilated every single one of them. Natsumi, he does have solid amount of armor but still the Dispersion will be enough. Lina might be in some trouble, he doesn't have the A on this, they have to run away though, no, they don't have the damage. And Hart, he wants ah. more blood, he wants more blood, he's going for the uh, Sand King and the Opaj will get himself away. He managed to get back his 700 gold gold uh, from the buyback, killing Natsumi and killing the Magnus at the same time. So... I don't think... Oh, okay, kill him back. Okay. Oh, the arrow does connect, so at least they'll get oh, the Rubik. Oh, oh, oh. Jarel gets the hex off! Oh, beautifully done, they get a stun as well. They, done, yes. they don't have the A on this for another 5 seconds, but he will survive because the rest of the pack oh. is there to defend their Lina. Right now, doesn't have the haunt, and this is a good move from Obi Neon having the DD. So Gaben giving them a chance in this game, but will it be enough to get a uh, scan in the backline? Zero connects again. Oh. Goes. He really likes those. He drops into the backlines. He does have the shard as well. And now the RP to the backlines, but the end disc is ready. RP onto the ground by the Rubik. A big mistake. It could have been a big turnaround. He does have the ghost center though. BKB not dead there anymore for Natsumi Laguna Blade. Bring him relatively low. Arrow on the Spectre. These arrows are really on point for Skem. And now SS going in. He still has the Aegis. They can't commit on him. The dispersion will kill them all, but they have the fan of nice and they will be able to bring him down. And you, no RP anymore. They oh need to run away. It will live the Sand King to die. And you will uh, be the casualty. And Sand King having the spider legs will get himself to safety, but Rubik not allowing that to happen. No spell steal to get the uh, stun from the Sand King. Now the Spectre coming in. The haunt is back up, and the homing missile will make sure that Sand King stays in place. Here comes the Solon Skewer, but Yopar gets himself to the side. He has a blink in a second, but one will never get a chance to use it. If he had gotten the Yules off, it would have been great. Uh, but it's, so it's probably think, uh... not gonna be enough. Yeah, it's still not Mars, he just bought back, they have the fan of knives, he's just removing his oh passive, so the Bulwark world won't be there, he gets a bat, but the Bulwark is back up, goes, he turns his back to Natsumi, and that's why he'll die, but Natsumi, he'll be going down anyways, that's a bigger kill, with the lion being caught there by the homing missile, and he will die as well, Junul, no chance of survival there, after his carry died, a 7k gold lead now for Dragon. Uh... Lion as uh, Lina Look also at what have you did to Moon. He gets them into the arrow with a fan of knives. They'll get the kill on the Spectre with another finger of that kill from Juno. What a play Yay! coming out of them. That's a buyback. He's the uh, Marana at this point. But that's because of the gold. They want to take the uh, Raxes now and might be able to do so. They get the Rubik down immediately. The Ghost Scepter will not help you against the finger. And they're going for more. What a play from Obi Neon. After those buybacks, they will be taking the Raxes. And maybe on the back of the Super Geeps, they can delay this game long enough for the PA to start doing the damage. And I think that's the perfect fight for Dragon. Given that Natsumi doesn't have his buyback, it will be a big move for sure. Roche coming back in a minute and a half. Oh, RP, it's gonna be there. But uh, the Magnus, it won't be doing that much. They lose the Rubik though. And now we're going to the Spectre, he might have a buyback, but dying in a situation like this without Jerubic is not going to be beneficial, they try to kill the Magnus, buyback from the Spectre, coming back into the fight, and even with the fight starting off perfectly for them, not to be falling down quite low, trying to do the damage, won't be doing it, and yo, Punch, you're going to be next, trying to run away, but he will get ripped apart now, hits from the Lina coming in, the Blink Dagger will be there for him, beautifully done by yo, Punch. he's still being scouted Beautiful. by the enemy oh. team though, and they know where he is, will they be able to get the Spear from Ghost? Doesn't get the connection. Well, as well, they have a finger. They actually do a ton of damage. Maybe they can kill someone. Lina would be a perfect target, but Hart does have a buyback. They need to do something to delay the Roche. Maybe poke Dragon a little bit, split push the waves, make sure that the Roche doesn't fall. The second that Spectre gets into the Roche pit, we all know what's gonna happen. He has the Illusion Escape and the Manta style. Yeah, this Roche is falling down low. The Spectre using the Manta immediately. The real Spectre getting an arrow to the face. That could be a big one. Do they know that that's the real one? Mars going into the back lines, using the Arena, using the Lotus Orb in the back lines, oh. though. There's gonna be a stun from Yopat, but immediate. The, the Rubik lifts him up, will not allow him to get no. the Aegis, and the one getting the Aegis will be the Lina, but this is not so bad because they needed it on the uh, Spectre. Refresher Shard used by Yopaj just to get himself away. He stole, he had stolen that one and will be getting himself to safety. 
Rubik has the uh, Aghanim Scepter, and he's stolen the Shockwave, now going for the Mars, oh. taking a ton of damage, can they kill the Mars, they use the finger, and Natsu, we will get him down, there's no buyback on Ghost, and they will move away, that's a 9 second BKB being used by the lean, and Yopaj going for more, they want Mercator, SSS needs to get out, Mercator will be left for dead, and Natsumi rips him apart nice. there, like Shadow Support, so the team's tiptoeing towards each other, CTM is coming in, he has a buyback, and he, it seems like he wants to use it, he'll show himself, gets lifted up immediately, the stun from the Lina will connect with the Laguna Blade, not really doing that much damage, with the Glimmer Cave, Natsumi goes onto the Rubik and they kill him, now Haunt will get used, the Opash is still okay, the RP on the 2, there's no A on this anymore, can they get a kill, the Spectre is falling down, low, does have the cheese, and gets the 4 step out, he will be surviving, eating the cheese, but Natsumi going for more, he wants the Rubik, he just bought back, but with the stun from the Lina, Natsumi is dead, he does have a buyback in 100 gold, but using the Divine Rapier, he's just not as strong anymore, CTM will die, and the homing missile continuing to follow the line as well, he'll get stunned up, and most likely just get ripped apart as well, no buyback on him, that's a dieback, and no B Neon, they finally call GG, they don't have anything else to give in this game number one, and Dragon will start winning the grand finals, one and though, continuing their domination over OB Neon, that they started in the upper bracket finals. But this is not looking good for Obinion. They need so many items so early on. And unless they snowball this out of control, he's doing quite well for himself. Jevonwell is zoning out the AA. He might be able to get the kill right now with the Dragon Tail fall up. Mercator will be falling down quite low. There is going to be a Dragon Tail coming up. They get the stun. It's a pretty long one. In the end, Mercator goes down. We start to see the difference between the two. Yopaj comes in, gets a last hit. Will get a lot of his damage taken away. And he can't do anything. They also get the ward down. That's pretty nice. Ghost dies in the bottom lane. Now Junel will be dying as well. It seems like he has a lot of damage on heart. One more slap from the whip. And Junel, he doesn't want it to happen, but he really doesn't have a choice. The neon lineup might actually work. This game, mid lane, they go in for the TA and with the purifying flames, the razor does fall. That's really bad. Yopash, he doesn't get the salve off that much, but he still has a ton of damage with the refraction. He actually hits 70 damage per hit, which isn't that bad. They go for the next assassin as well. No mana for the uh, spike carapace, which means what? It means that he's going to die, and Yopash gets the kill there. Dragonlance and the Deso, that's the uh, go to build for the TA, but in the top lane, now Mercator has been caught, and save will be true for the next assassin as well. Jonal takes two of those using the purifying flames the easiest spell to deal with okay apart from the fade bolt but uh now it's looking good yeah me too <laughs> me too hopefully everything is gonna be okay razor getting gone on he does have the uh Rapture on him and he'll get destroyed by Natsumi who's continuing to dominate in this game and Yopash, he finds the next assassin so other than losing their oracle, that's gonna be it Mercator getting rid of the traps but he could be in some trouble right now and will get himself away and Ryu playing against the popsicle, he definitely needs more fire and will be going for the breed fire max now they go for the next assassin who has the spike air piece rolling thunder from ghost it's there where's the uh, blood seeker with the rupture he's not here the a deeping in no way blast which means that Andrew will most likely survive at the finger in the back lines actually andrew taking so much damage the slow from the da doing a lot here but ghost will fall first and andrew is still alive he turns around with the breed fire razor loses a lot of damage and now not so we will finish him off actually it will be joan well he's taking everything away from his cores right now i'm gonna be the carry give me all the kills and mercator poor guy will get slapped the that's by Natsumi who has 5-0 oh, and 1. Last uh, source of experience being taken away by OB Neon. 40 minutes of the game, of course. They still haven't taken it. The uh, Spike Air Prince for the next session will not connect. Now they get the stun and you really deep, but they annihilate that guy with Jonal being level 7. Purifying Flames doing so much damage. Stun on the Razor. He's taking so much damage and another guy will fall. Jonal not even needing to steal that one. He's gonna say, yo Paj, yo little boy, take that one. We know that you're so proud of your TA. And now the stun on the Mercator. I think that Dragon are falling apart right now. Do hits from Yopaj will be more than enough. He already has a death, so 15 minutes. A timing between 15 and 20 minutes. I wasn't thinking about them going high ground, but just controlling the game, but with a 9k gold lead. You have the Blink Dagger on the Pango. Maybe you can make something happen, but it seems like they can and the Raxes are already down 15 minutes into the game. That's what happens when you make Neon Mad Next Assassin. His Spike Carry Pace was already used, and Yopash, the side blades. So goodbye, my friend. The Next Assassin is dead. They get the Andrew, TP to the bottom lane. He will show himself right now. Maybe that's gonna be a cue for a go for Dragon, but 
Nope, they don't have the guts to get out outside of their base. The outer tower is gone and will most likely be able to get him. Now the stun from the uh, DK. Gets it on the Mercator. Poor guy is caught. The, the trap won't slow him down. Fast enough now. Tsumi uses the Rapture on the Razor. It seems like it won't get him the kill. And now with the Rolling Thunder, he will be doing a ton of damage. Going for the Oracle. The DK not taking any damage. Uno making sure of that. Still has the False Promise. Gets himself to the low ground and goes. He's trying to run away. But I see him perfectly playing Dagger from the DK in just a second. Sorry, goes, But you're not going anywhere with a finger from CTF. These supports want to take everything away from their cores. Guys, we always have uh, an uh, 18 plus announcement here on the stream, so right now we would like you to move your kids away from the screen because this is not okay for them to watch at this point. Razer is, uh, is getting annihilated again. Oh Guys. my god, Harry, you're so funny! Really? You like for the past few months. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad to be here as well. Oh, stun on Ghost again. Getting annihilated, the Rapture will be on him trying to get into the base, but the Blood Rite will finish him off. Natsumi gets the kill, he's running like a race car, and no one wants to get ran over right now in front of their own fountain. Finally, Dragon, they're gonna say, tap out, tap three times to the ground, say, please stop this, please stop this, Obi Neon. Obi Neon will continue the Dominion for another 10 seconds, but in the end, the throne will fall. It's the Dragonite, Lina versus the end. It's actually a good a lane. Not gonna do that much. Top lane. The uh, Terra Blade does go down. That's good for Obinion. They need this to happen. Now turning around on Mercator. They do have mana on the Viper to finish this guy off. One more hit and he will die with Enryu getting a double on the top lane. They have to be careful here. The Gale has been used on Jonuel. They don't care that Natsumi is coming. Come, will kill you as well. The Soul Rip not gonna come out on the Undying. He heals himself up. Here's Natsumi. Turns around on the Venomancer. Maybe he can get the kill. Jonuel is in the night range, but will die. Nonetheless, Natsumi focusing on getting the kill. Kill here won't be getting that uh, Venomancer. Jonuel trying to survive. Will never get a chance to do so. And Lina is on a dominating streak. That's four kills on this position for him. He is level five. Not really the best time to gank, but Venomancer doesn't have that much mana and he's looking pretty dead. They do have the cold snap, do have the MP and Juno just rips him apart. Yopaj was hoping for that kill but again Juno uh, doing the same thing he did in the last game and taking all the kills. Meanwhile while that was happening in the mid lane, CTM scam came in for uh, for just some experience. It's not gonna do that much. And you, what is he doing? Mercator? He'll be going down and you. He uh, kills SSS before he dies and Yopaj comes in to clean up. Three heroes dead on Dragon. Get on top of the Venomancer, that's the perfect first kill, but he does have a uh, four staff Natsumi. Kill the smoke, there is a four staff on the Venomancer, getting slowed down, they have the trap, not using it. <laughs> he forces himself onto the finger of the lion, will just get latched onto it. Now the Dragonite jumping in, the Nether Toxin wasn't even used, and they destroy one and the other as well. Mercator and the... Uh, Ghost DK coming in thinking they could do something, but the only thing that they experienced there was death. Traps around the map, you can just TP there and cover a lot of ground in mere seconds. The trap explodes then. The oh, second Ghost in some trouble. The tornado will connect, which means there's not gonna be a blink out. The poor Dragonite dies once again. Ghost will just be dying slowly. CTM gets a Laguna Blade to his face, but Juno trying to keep him alive. He's managing to do so. CTM is still alive and a slow from the zombie. He's not gonna allow this to happen. Now SSS coming in. Henry's running away. Doesn't have that much armor. Maybe he can survive being slowed down. They do have the tombstone now. This is not a good fight for Dragon because the zombie is running and eating their brains. And SSS will just TP away. In the back lines, Mercator, he will TP out. He'll get himself to safety, but that's the only thing they can do. The Invoker coming in, and SSS, it seems like he has a sixth sense, but they have a slow here. Trap being used there. They know exactly where you are. SSS trying to run away. DMP will make sure that he can get his Thunder off. Trying to run now. Doesn't have the Manta just yet. It's being delivered. There it is. This is not looking good. He can use the Manta. Not using it immediately. Where's the Thunder? It's not gonna be there. If the EMP connects, the Thunder will be out, but not really giving him that much HP. And you turns around, but finally the Blink Dagger from Ghost coming into play, and he will burn down the stake. Now going for the Invoker, the Thunder does connect. OB Neon, they were way too aggressive and there will be finally a good response from Dragon. Everything working out well for them. Zader has been enchanted, so it's coming in to scout out the Roche. Dragon, they know what OB Neon want to do, but poor Mercator they just get destroyed. LSA not doing anything. Sure, CTM will get slowed down, but he still does survive Roche. Falling low, but not low enough to be in danger territory. Lina getting the uh, tornado and this means that the other support will be going down as well. That's a big kill for sure. Lina, her second death of the game after four kills in the laning stage. Okay. Uh, that's, that's the nice. quick tempered one is the mid player. 
mid player and the position 4. They are very quick tempered. Okay, the position oh, oh, 4. Oh, 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 oh. Lina, Lina running <laughs> okay, into it. now oh. you gave in some uh, really nice info to Neon, and they'll be focusing on the Lina. Gold jumps in, has the BKB, and he wants to start dishing out the damage. But the heal from Juno, keeping everyone safe. He doesn't have enough armor. SSS, he can maybe kill the Tombstone, but that's about it. Juno doesn't even need to heal it. He turns around, the finger will come out, but he's still alive. In the end, he dies without getting the Sunder off. And now the Venom has tried to get out. Natsumi will TP on the trap, but the Venom is already out. They're going for the... Uh, oh, he goes into the backline, DPs onto the Lina. Now going for the Venomancer who has a 4-staff trying to get himself into the base. And a few hits from Natsumi. He might actually die trying to use the side blades onto the... Onto the Venom Ward. But in the end, they won't get the kill. Someone died on the other part of the map. It was oh. Mercator dying to CTM and Enryu. Not really sure what he was doing outside of the base there. But wasn't really expecting two heroes to be laying in wait. The TA continuing to... Uh, TP around the map. And if they win this one, they have a bonus match versus uh, IG. So, uh, yeah, actually, at the beginning of this tournament, uh, IG was saying, okay, let's just play directly uh, BO1 with uh, Neon right now. I was like, no, wait, Neon hasn't won the tournament yet. So. <laughs> They predicted that Neon is gonna win, yeah. We're gonna see a big fight, they put the tombstone on the high yes. ground, it's still alive, it's surviving, the zombies are coming out, and Dragon are losing this one for sure, there's gonna be a Sunstrike as well, they're now gonna start dying, oh, all of them oh. losing the HP at the same time, SSS turning into a demon, but you don't have a BKB, what can you do? You can't do anything, is there something that he can thunder? CTM comes in, comes thunder me bro, but he has a stun to not allow that to happen, and then you even survives that one, we talked about the Viper, being uh, susceptible to physical it's damage but GG. when you're this far ahead you will win and it is gg just as moon said 20k goal lead another dominating performance for ob neon if people in the chat they're telling me to protect the dragon uh they're being sarcastic but uh, i think the dragon are gonna win this one and break and the firefly dragonite has to be extremely careful taking a lot of damage now just from the right clicks needs to go for a second point in dragon blight here if he wants to survive he's not doing it just yet yopa she has the flame break on the other part of the map goes dies dragon are losing heroes left and right and the dragonite he's still alive but not for long yopa gets the kill and another miss done from this slash dragon it seems like they're not doing that well in terms of execution. He's trying to secure the range keys, but Natsumi, good job here, just doing the damage. While mid lane, the uh, Dragonite is in some trouble. Yopash coming in, he still has the Firefly for a long time, and now this DK is gonna start burning, and no way to do anything about it. He's not immune to fire, he might be okay against Dragon Fire, but the one from the Bat Rider will be more than enough to get the kill, and Yopash is coming in. He says easy mid and gets a double kill there. It needs to be laid in the, in the safe lane. And you taking a ton of damage, Ghost, he might get the kill here, he has so many spiders and the Viper will get eaten or will he? The snake does survive against so many spiders, he uses the nether toxin and he will survive for now. One more spawn spiderlings will get the kill, and you is alive, the stun doesn't connect, Lash continuing to miss those stuns and now will be paying with his life, but Mercator coming from the side, he does have the rocket barrage, level 2 with the homing missile coming in, the robot is running happily towards Andrew, and now they'll finally get the kill, allowing Ghost to get that one, but the Spectre Hot Natsumi comes in, for a nice easy kill Mercator where do you think you're going surrounded by four he'll get so many hits into him and Natsumi getting a double kill there beginning and don't secure the laning phase you'll be in so much trouble but coming back to the bottom lane Natsumi in some trouble there's gonna be a stun on the brute mother on the top lane and you does die to the three heroes but same will be true for the off lane of dragon as well and they lose ghost one more time now ghost will be dying yet again if scam kills the stun and he will yopash coming in they have more than enough damage to kill him with a flame break getting him back in and ghost can just accept his destiny trying to slow down yopash with the silken bola ghost might actually survive another stun from scam but yopash he's not giving up on this he wants to get on top of him and the spider will burn that's what you should do to spiders guys toss them in the fire and they will eventually die now and you getting slowed down here but a specter has a dd Lash will be taking so much damage. They're surrounded by zombies as well. Lifestealer wants to get a kill here. Doesn't have the rage no more. Needs to get it fast off. Will he get a chance? Not really. The aggressive move from Dragon will be punished by OB Neon. It's just not looking the greatest for Dragon. They finally lose their tower in the top lane as well. And now Broodmother getting chased down. They have the lasso as well. Will use it. Pulling the Broodmother back. Juno has the ulti. Slowing him down. And the soul rip. He brought his spiders. He said, please destroy me. Please undying. Do it fast. 
and he brings in his spiders to make sure that the soul rip does this the uh, damage immediately and now he brings the uh, tombstone it means he gets destroyed mercator dying there to the uh, next assassin and the viper now they're going for the lash the infest will be there trying to save his life but with the five poison attacks he might even die right here right now the lash will take out but not to the poison stacks but to the urn charge now dragonite in some trouble as well scam he's not missing any stuns the lash might be doing that but this guy on the next assassin will not that dragon tail will not save you and juno with another soul rip gets the kill ghost deep is in and dragon they are just falling apart one by one they are falling down there's gonna be a rod of atos and keeping the brood mother in place cam gets another stun off from really far away that's when you have two fluffy hats on a position four that means that the game isn't going too well for you you see only one fluffy hat when you're a next assassin that's because you want to get a four stat now a uh, lasso onto the gyrocopter with the spectral horn being used as well. They know exactly where their enemies are. The broodmother coming in. He's going left and right there. We're seeing some lags because obviously the uh, caster's computer isn't really that good. Now Dragonite jumping in with a stun. The Viper is still alive. He's trying to eat him with a little broodling. The broodmother still trying to survive this one. SS comes out. He won't send you dead. Then the blocks are gonna be there. The nice beautiful double stun from CTN keeping his guy alive. And they'll get Dragon down. All of them will die with Andrew surviving all of this. This must be very, very uh, bad for Dragon. We can't really even get excited no more for OB Neon destroying Dragon. We've been looking at it for the past two and a half hours. Now Mercator getting gone on. Scam is just diving this one. Andrew, he's like, if I survive that last fight, I'm definitely gonna survive anything. And just running over the supports, it's not easy to watch anymore, guys. Close your eyes because uh, I'll just give you all the action. With just words, this is just too brutal for the side of OB Neon. They could be a little bit more hum humane. Broodmother getting stunned up. Ghost is not going anywhere. Next assassin, he might fall with a breed fire. Not enough damage. Has the four staff out. Actually, that was the one from uh, from Yopach who has a blink dagger, a four staff, and now SSS will be the lone survivor. I like this uh, this life stealer pick. But without their carry, OB Neon, we don't even need Natsumi to win, but if we need him, he'll be there to assist us. Yobash coming in, the hold down will connect on the next, but he already has a spike here up as a gyro, gets annihilated, Yobash is on a beyond godlike streak, Flash wants to get a kill, will miss the stun yet again, and putting this uh, guy on a position for Lash was definitely a bad idea, we can see that he's not comfortable with playing the hero, just getting destroyed every single time, missing all the stuns, and Dragon, they're done. They'll call GG. A really underwhelming end to the tournament. I was hoping for a game 5. And still, OB Neon just uh, lose the first game. And then they got extremely mad.